Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, New Earth Angels of Terra Nova Gaia Expansion. The sun rises again on this day as our local Solaris released eight more C-class solar flares and a major M-class solar flare maxing at M5.47 at 1706 UTC, flooding this realm with the Sophia Christos consciousness codes of pure love light of the Universal One. Synchronizing with this incredible celestial event, we have a powerful galactic activation portal day on the Mayans' old keen calendar. With Keen 173, Red Self-Existing Skywalker. This is encoded with our Heaven on Earth codes of the 37 into the 73 as we spread our etheric angelic wings with the power of our Kundalini and walk the skies of our sacred new Eden. The hearts and minds of all starseed earth angelics of the 144 are being lit up with the power of 10,000 suns to fulfill our divine missions of full planetary liberation as we transform this realm to the paradise she has always evolved to be. We are experiencing glitches in the matrix as we are shifting to all benevolent quantum systems for the benefit, betterment, and enhancement of all life on Mother Earth. All sentient beings of the way are being released from all slavery systems as we call in our highest timeline of ascension for all our good people of the new Earth. Keep anchoring in the sacred light as we rise and shine our glorious bright virtue of the Buddha mind of awakening into the quantum field of eternal bliss consciousness. Aho! Welcome beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com 144 flowing in. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree for the purification of human consciousness. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. New body mapping codes coming online today. Brain codes, pings, zaps, inner cerebellum. Body being reorganized to allow for greater access. Electric coming off my fingers as the field expands greatly to allow a new level of light in. Reawakening of dormant abilities. Blast off from ValerieElster.com and from Divine Brawl Thor of the Light, Tony Shaman Orion. We follow the perfect plan. Now the activation of solar disks in the world is coming. The ancestors had already left it for when our humanity raises the frequency to activate them. On April 12th, get ready for something unprecedented. We are a solar race. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Mary Costello. The Grandmothers say in Heavenly Council, You are not here to belong. You are here to bring the earth to belong to us. Rest a moment. You have all the time because it's our time now. We receive you. We recognize you. We honor you. Take your strength from us. 144 Continuing to Flood In and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel, you will find that the veils are being removed and with it we can connect in profounder ways with our galactic family and with the Ascended Masters as we become as one with the angelic realms. So much is happening on all levels and this brings physical changes. Yet all physical changes first need to come via the emotional, mental and spiritual bodies as well. As they are healed, the physical body heals. All is one unit, one being. Just as we are one with planet Earth and Lady Gaia, 
our own physical body reflects hers as well as our emotional mental and spiritual bodies just like planet earth is reflected all over the universe in all existences if all is one then we are part and particle of one single energy and energy field and work together as one in truth nothing is missing all is one from judith com and from divine sister of the light shea from numbers by shea numerology four eleven twenty four your heart is wide open today because april wants it it wants your genius your emotions your grit your secrets compassion creativity joy and pain out in the light for you to see to ascend in life this year as you're meant to you need your gifts and your truth strength comes from authenticity and integrity and you want no hidden skeletons to haunt you later so whatever april reveals is for your benefit regardless of appearance today is a divine laser to cut through any fortified layers that might protect your heart but can also hold it hostage and today from divine sister of the light anna maria when yeshua spoke of the kingdom of heaven he referred to the fifth dimension that's why the phrase went the kingdom of heaven is already within you we do not seek outside what everyone is satisfied within by our own divine nature they do not call us star seeds by coincidence nothing is we are seeds because this time we have come down to sow among all this big tree that is the new world the new humanity in love and unity every soul carries a seed their mission and we are all scattered around the world that's why it's important that each of us plant their seed so that every branch of the tree can grow and between us all we will grow the new solar humanity this new era of aquarius is an era of collectivity there is no division we come to bring heaven down to earth and above we are all one it's time for us all to plant our seed that we unite as brothers and sisters that we are and that we see our brothers and sisters as ourselves as we all come from source let's not fall into the matrix game they want us divided because divide and you shall conquer let's rise as yeshua always told us let's see everything from a stellar vision because united we are unstoppable and that is the way to the fifth dimension any information that talks about division or lowers our vibration is not the way it's very easy to discern the fifth dimension is love union and high vibration everything that comes out of it is not may our heart always be our filter our guide and our teacher as yeshua tells us only the fifth dimension will enter the pure of heart those who vibrate in unconditional love understand that there is no separation that we are all the children of father mother of the source and be an example of that love in their lives anna maria from divine sister of the light erini crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy athena jupiter uranus dionysus and the white moon conjunction the connections to eden change of perception message many are going to live in the lands of eden it is a choice for those that have received the glory of god goddess there will be choices given the genealogy will speak it already does and others will continue at what are called the lands of pain deeper into separation we have entered a very sacred and benevolent period leading up to the dionysus white moon jupiter and uranus conjunction a truly unique moment in which the multi-dimensional clock that we call earth will reopen its connections to eden i was told that this is a portal of the greatest blessings and that we have not exactly realized how it will change our reality as the last veils are being removed both from the human aura and the fields of earth our senses will start recognizing a different truth to the reality we have been witnessing around us 
This has already been happening for many people. For example, during this last eclipse, there were many people questioning what they witnessed and had a hard time accepting that it was the moon that eclipsed the sun. The information that their eyes were receiving could not agree with their programming. Something did not add up. In our last session, we were told that it was the dark satellite that was going to eclipse the sun, not the moon. The whole structure that we perceive as Earth, solar system, galaxy, universe, is like a theater of shadows and reflections. Our human perception is changing very fast. This is the physical awakening in which the human senses switch frequency and can finally be able to drop the false programming and read and translate the information differently. The walls of separation are dropping. The minds are changing perception. The system is going to reveal its true nature to us and we will understand the huge lies that we have been fed for so long. Many are going to move to the homelands of Eden. This might be an in-between phase, and there will be more information coming in on this. We have already been working on this, and we will continue. The whole universe will start appearing different to our senses. The astro charts will also change, as I have written many times before. This is taking place because we are exiting the 3D graves, and we are entering a new living state. A totally new version of Earth's sky will be revealed in front of our eyes. That is for those who will have eyes to see and ears to listen, because there will also be plenty of misinterpretations for this phenomena that many will accept. The system of the universe is the same as our aura. The whole system is based on reflections and mirrorings, and there is plenty for us to understand and realize still on this matter. We will work on all the above the very day of this amazing conjunction. But please know that we are already under its influence. These days are truly sacred, and we will experience monumental changes in our fields. Also under the powerful energies of the last days, I have witnessed amazing healing and liberation taking place, a kind that I have never witnessed before. The dark witches and magicians are being stripped off of their powers and wicked tactics, and this is in alignment to the divine will. They will remember who they truly are and will be seen for who they truly are. Many of them will be pulled back to their true position and family and lose all of their previous powers of influence. They will have to revisit the lessons on what true power is. Most of them were but lost little children. Also, those infected by demonic influences can experience healing and liberation if they ask for it. The opposite will take place for those who are pure at heart. They will be pushed to rise high, back to their true position, and they will be given gifts and blessings of love and abundance for themselves and family for all of the generations to come. This is truly the most blessed time to be alive. Let the soul enjoy this divine revelation and correction. There is only going forward now. We will work on all above and much more in the coming group session on the 20th of April. From now until then, observe what is taking in your life and those around you, because it is now that many developments will begin and will continue unfolding in the months to come. This is a learning experience that will make us more wise and strong. We are being initiated by Sophia wisdom in a much more broader sense. Good things are coming to those who are pure of heart. Eri ni el moriana anadi miana ol a Christos hunama anata kumara yellow galactic warrior from divine sister of the light aurora ray the golden age approaches activating DNA for collective evolution. For millennia, humanity has gazed up at the night sky and pondered our place in the cosmos. Are we alone? Where did we come from? What is our destiny? The discovery of the genetic code in 1953 marked a major milestone in the quest to answer these profound questions. An elegantly simple set of biochemical instructions written in a four-letter code DNA contains the blueprint of life. 
Now as we unlock its secrets, our true capabilities are coming into focus. We stand at the threshold of an exciting new era of human empowerment and transformation. By understanding and activating our genetic potential, we can transcend perceived limitations, increase health and longevity, and pave the way for the creation of a harmonious civilization and alignment with cosmic intelligence. The Golden Age awaits. History of Genetic Code Discovery The mystery of the genetic code has fascinated scientists for over a century. Initial breakthroughs came in the 1940s and 50s through the work of pioneers like Erwin Chargaff. Chargaff discovered that the proportions of adenine and thiamine bases and cystocene and guanine bases were equal in DNA samples from different species. This became known as Chargaff's rules and was an early clue that led scientists to propose that DNA had a complementary double helix structure. The decisive breakthrough came in 1953 when James Watson and Francis Crick, building on the work of Rosalind, Franklin, and Maurice Wilkins discovered the double helix structure of DNA at Cambridge University. Watson and Crick's elegantly simple model revealed DNA as two complementary strands coiled together in a spiral staircase shape. The structure immediately suggested how DNA could replicate itself during cell division. By unzipping down the middle and using each strand as a template, for a new matching strand. This groundbreaking discovery by Watson and Crick is considered one of the greatest scientific achievements of the 20th century and set the stage for the age of molecular genetics. Transcending Perceived Limitations DNA represents the bridge between modern science and ancient spirituality. By decoding our genetic blueprint, we can unleash our full human potential which has remained dormant for millennia. Mainstream science once saw DNA as a fixed program dictating our physical characteristics and susceptibilities to disease. We now understand epigenetics reveals our genes are flexible and can be activated or suppressed by our lifestyle and environment. Beyond the physical plane, DNA contains etheric encoding passed down from our ancestors and soul origins. Our DNA is a library containing sacred geometries and light codes that can elevate consciousness and manifest realities. Activating this dormant potential allows us to transcend perceived limitations imposed by societal conditioning and mass perception. We reclaim our divine sovereignty as multidimensional beings and co-creators made in the image of the cosmos. The unified field of consciousness is accessed through our DNA. Here separation dissolves and we enter eternal bliss, drawing insights from galactic intelligence and higher dimensions. From this unified perspective, humanity's purpose becomes clear. We are agents of cosmic evolution building rainbow bridges to utopia. Entropy versus Syntropy The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy in an isolated system always tends to increase over time. Entropy is a measure of randomness and disorder, so this law suggests that the universe is moving inexorably towards chaos. However, this concept of syntropy represents an alternative perspective. Syntropy argues that in living systems, entropy can be overcome through the infusion of life energy and the power of consciousness. Rather than descending into disorder, living systems have an innate tendency to self-organize into structures of increasing complexity and order. This drive towards greater coherence can override entropy when intention, creativity, and intelligence are applied. From this view, the role of consciousness is key. While the physical aspect of the universe may tend towards entropy, the non-physical aspect of intention and meaning has the ability to create syntropy. 144 continuing to flow in. 
When consciousness focuses on syntropic intention, it can guide a system's evolution in a negentropic direction. This perspective places human free will and the conscious co-creation of reality in central importance for determining our future. Rather than assuming disorder and random chaos are inevitable, the syntropic concept suggests we can consciously choose to infuse creativity, order, and meaning into the world. By aligning our intentions with the innate ordering principles of the universe, we can be able to generate an upward syntropic spiral that allows new patterns of harmony, beauty, and unity to emerge. Our future may be unwritten, awaiting our active participation and choices. Conclusion as we come to understand this truth, we are at the brink of an incredible awakening. It's urging us to dive into who we really are, to unlock the hidden power within our DNA. And as we take each step forward, we're not just evolving individually, but together as a whole. With determination, we tap into the strength of our combined hopes and desires, using them to shape the world around us. It's like we are architects of the universe, crafting our reality with every thought and action, and every little choice we make. Every moment of mindfulness adds to the bigger picture, creating a masterpiece of endless possibilities. In this grand dance of creation, we are all connected, each of us playing a part in shaping our shared future. Together we are breaking free from the limitations of the past moving towards a world where kindness, abundance, and connection thrive. So let's stand side by side, fueled by our shared dreams. Let us imagine a world where love reigns supreme, where kindness is abundant, and where every person's uniqueness is celebrated. Because within our collective journey lies the promise of a brighter tomorrow a time where humanity shines its brightest, embracing the beauty of our togetherness. We love you dearly, we are here with you, we are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation, a whole, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. 222 coming in. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Light codes are delivering upgrades and transformation. Support is with you, liberating you to simplify your life, resulting in better balance. This may be felt in the solar plexus chakra, as the energies are detoxing away poverty consciousness. Then choices become clear. You have all the answers within you that will guide you to create your new reality. Take the time necessary to heal and recharge so you can access the wisdom and truth from within. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And today from Divine Sister Star of the Light, Ra James. Tonight our crescent moon aligns with the Pleiades. Expect a lot of Pleiadian energies. Jupiter is also part of this alignment. Mercury is also at inferior conjunction. Expect a lot of positive galactic energies. It's an amazing time to be connecting with the Pleiadian energies and the Pleiadians. It's a great time to be reaching out to your star family. Expect an increase in downloads and synchronicity. Today is a great day to be connecting spiritually for more clarity and guidance. These energies are going to be awakening the collective to the next level. Pleiadian energies are all about manifesting and getting creative. You are being guided to really work on yourself to shift into your highest potential. It's all about anchoring into and aligning with these fifth dimensional energies. It's all about creating fifth dimensional realities. You should be connecting with your higher self a little extra right now. Pay extra attention to your soul right now and where it's trying to guide you. It's all about connecting with your spiritual purpose and soul mission right now. If you're a star seed or a twin flame, you'll be feeling the activations we are receiving a little extra. You're here to help the world heal and evolve. You're being guided to heal your past traumas, ancestral patterns, and karmic imprints. 
Expect a lot of high frequency energies that are amazing to be healing with from sparks of divine light healing.com. And today from forever conscious, the sun and Chiron are activated right now, bringing an abundance of healing energy. Call this healing energy into your body and ask it to travel where it's needed. Call this healing energy into your mind and ask it to bring awareness to unhelpful thoughts, mental blocks, or fogginess. Call this healing into your heart and ask it to bring openness, forgiveness, and compassion. Call this healing into your soul space so you can be reminded of your wholeness, your connection to source, and your personal power. Chiron is an asteroid known as the Wounded Healer, but it has another nickname too, the Rainbow Bridge. Walking the Rainbow Bridge elevates us into a higher state of consciousness. It moves us from a lower energy to a higher one. This shift is possible now under the Sun and Chiron conjunction, which actually peaked under the solar eclipse. Work with this energy to walk across your own rainbow bridge out of one form and into the next. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Thursday, April 11th, the Sun, ruler of light and illumination, is connecting with Mercury, ruler of knowledge and details, as they both travel through passionate fire sign Aries, the Ram. Because Mercury is currently retrograde, we may expect more information, communications, or messages to come in regarding something that we have been researching, contemplating, or trying to move forward with. The energy of this instruction, counsel, or guidance may come in a quicker and direct manner. We could also have further conversations about something of importance with loved ones, family, friends, or business connections. Make sure all the particulars are covered and that everyone involved understands exactly what they need to, as we are in a Mercury retrograde cycle. All in all, our minds may be very busy today, so make sure to take a time out at some point so you don't get overwhelmed by all that is happening. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus and Aries, trine Pallas retrograde and Sagittarius. Jupiter and Taurus, semi-sextile Chiron and Aries. Venus and Aries needs financial independence, autonomy in relationships, a strong sense of self-worth. For us to attract what we want in our lives, it's necessary to re-examine patterns of relating and explore other options that will lead to the heart's desire. With creative inspiration, we can refashion the shape of our lives into a harmonious pattern. Jupiter's connection to Chiron is a huge help. After such heated focus on healing and or acceptance of what cannot be healed, this is a gentle push towards faith and optimism. Do not dwell on what is wrong, says Jupiter. Expand your appreciation for what is right. Consult mentors and teachers for guidance. Acknowledge the lessons pain has taught you. Ask yourself if your beliefs are working for you. Know that this hard journey will be worth it. Focus on what brings you joy to feel whole again. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 173, Red Self-Existing Skywalker. Self-existing is the name for the number four, and its keywords are measure, form, and define. It is the fourth day of the white dog wave spell and the portal day. The fourth day is all about taking a closer examination of your situation. Before you can progress, you really need to know precisely where you are and where you stand. Think of each wave spell journey as an adventure, and on the fourth day, you get out the map and your compass so you may better plot your course. Today is Red Skywalker, which represents explore, space, and wakefulness. Skywalker loves to encourage us all to be explorers. Expand your consciousness, travel and explore, take a day out to do something completely different. As it is a number four day, we must define wakefulness. This suggests we take a closer look at what wakefulness entails. What is the very definition of being a conscious being? 
deep questions to ponder today, so keep an open mind. The Skywalker always wants to lure us on an adventure, but this doesn't always mean an actual adventure. It's your mind the Skywalker wants you to explore. Your inner world is just as rich as the outer world. The key to wakefulness is exploring your consciousness. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Self-Existing Skywalker, 4 Bane, Keen 173, 11th of April, 2024, Defining Bliss, 11 4 2024 equal 2 4 8 equal 2 12 equal 2 3 equal 5 2 4 8 exponential growth day codes 11 illumination portal gate polarity two twins partners cooperation alliances duality five freedom liberation transformation movement month year codes four form structure foundation earth angelic 8. Infinite Abundance Source Flow 12. Acquiring Spiritual Strength Wisdom 3. Holy Trinity Joy Communication Creativity 2. 20. The Awakening Clear Vision 24. Charisma Happiness Healing Joy Keen 173 equal 11 Portal Duality Doorway equal 2. Partnership 1111 doorway on a galactic activation portal day huge liberation doorways opening today beloveds a very trippy day with an 1111 portal kin and 13 skywalker cosmic code all on a gap day this is seriously a surreal day to escape the humdrum reality and explore a magical dreamy space we are walking between worlds, planetary kin, very powerful gateways indeed. Another powerful galactic activation portal day and a portal keen code. So lots of power igniting our planetary expansion today. It's time to break out of the box and construct a new foundation of peace. Celebrate our new version of reality with your kin today. It is time to escape the old box. Nine moons, months ago, last galactic spin, Keen 173 arrived on the 25th of July, 2023, which of course was the day out of time, the day between the ending and beginning of the galactic dream spell years. Keen 173 was the bridge in time, just as Bane is the conduit between heaven and earth. We also had a 777 triple magic code, making that memorable day super special. Today we can revisit the super surreal energy through the portals in time. Enjoy the trip, beloveds. Keen 173 was also the code that started our year on the 1st of January 2020, bringing forth expansive codes for challenging the concept of our reality, what is founded on and defined by. Ironically, this marked the beginning of the two-year nightmare that was the pandemic. Globally, humanity was handed a huge wake-up call. Very appropriately, we commenced that 2020 year of awakening in the cycle of the white dog, highlighting the themes of unconditional love, devotion, and loyalty, or rather drawing attention to the lack of these qualities in our 3D matrix. Through experiencing hell, we now have the wisdom to define the bliss that we are all striving for. They say that to get to heaven you have to go through hell. Well, that was the old paradigm. Let us cancel, clear, delete that old program and know that now we have direct access to the heavenly realms as we travel through the portals in our heart. No need for suffering and nightmares in our new bliss reality. How far have we advanced in our journey to embody more love and redefine our reality through loving kindness? It seems we have made a significant progress, but we still have much work to do, as we discard all that opposes the flow of love. Today is day four in the white dog wave spell of unconditional love, loyalty, devotion, service, friendship, and faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we are exploring what it is to be that love and be loved through defining unconditional love in our lives. Tone of creation, self-existing tone 4, operates in the mental realm. Action measures, power defines, essence forms. 
Self-existing number four takes form and we have ourselves a square shape. Self-existing, measuring, and defining. Very intelligent, fascinated by self. We now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Today we are using our minds to redefine our human existence as we are awakening to more love, defining how we can transform our lives through endless love. As it is a gap day, we are strongly called to define a new era built on unconditional love, a beautiful new foundation upon which to construct our new reality. 27 moons months ago, Keen 173, occurred on the 20th of February 2022, which was the 22222 code, a 5D code for constructing new earth through the master builder and architect of peace. Today we have a 5 liberation code with the 4 self-existing builder's tone. Today we expand out of that old box and old reality to explore the space for something new to arrive. This enables us to construct this new world we have been defining in our minds. Very potent creation power through visualization today. This is the Nikola Tesla tone. 18 months ago, two galactic spins, Keen 173, occurred on the eve of the spectacular full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, highlighting earthly pleasures. Today, the new crescent moon is also in Taurus. This energy is streaming forth today through these portals in no time to help you define a new home and a new way of experiencing pleasure, joy, and bliss in your 5D abode. Beautiful support to build your bliss on earth. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of divine alchemy and magical manifestations through your pure heart. Go forth and build this new, more expansive foundation of our wonderful love-fueled new world. These liberation codes on a Taurus crescent moon with Keen 173 and the self-existing tone, directly related to your home, the building you reside in, as we are still journeying through the magic of this eclipse portal. These energies can literally transport you from one home to the next. Huge transformational codes to set you free from your box. Today's question is, how can I redefine the box of my reality in order to realize greater expansion, awakening to the universal flow of endless bliss and abundance? Divine blessings for the stretching of your mental playpen to redefine your wondrous new life of bliss. Es pavo. Play well together today, beloveds. Enjoy this dreamy, expansive day. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 173, Red Self-Existing Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I define in order to explore. Measuring wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of universal water. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Nick Watkins, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. 
Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Claire Wilson, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at EagleLoveCondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Morgan Le Fay. Decree for the Purification of Human Consciousness Beloved Presence of God that I am in my heart, Beloved Saint Germain and Portia, Arcturus and Diana, Zadkiel and Amethyst, and legions of angels of the violet ray, Descend with oceans and oceans and oceans of blazing violet flame in, through, and around human consciousness, especially the life streams that serve the causes of the ascended masters on earth. Keep us within this purifying fire until all causes and cores of discord between the children of light, human beings, and nations are completely consumed. Dissolve all desires for war and strife among men. Dissolve all selfish desires that hold humanity in conditions that are retarded and undesirable to the laws of love, harmony, and fraternity that govern all golden ages. Replace all these inferior patterns by the perfection, wisdom, beauty, and kindness of the ascended masters, and restore good will among men. I am that I am. I am that I am, I am that I am. I am one with my source of life, the cosmic light, God Almighty, fulfilling now this call, I am. I am that I am, I am that I am, I am that I am. The mighty I am presence, here in action. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.